All right, level three parts designer, shape number two. Uh, we're gonna start off with uh, doing something kind of weird. So this shape, let's call these the arms of this object. Uh, the front edge isn't actually square. It's not a perfect line, it's actually rounded. And unfortunately, there's not a great tool to do that uh, with in Tinkercad. So we're gonna have to do some kind of funky. The, the radius of that curve is 70, which means if we were to make that thing out of a cylinder, the cylinder would have to have a diameter of twice that, so 140. This is way too, uh, way too big, so we're going to shrink it down, crank those sides up, and we'll turn it this way. Now, what we need is the middle middle portion of this we just we literally only need like that much of this object so we're gonna have to cut the rest away now i need how much of that object well the thickness of my arms uh that's 40 right that dimension right there reads 40. so because this entire thing is 140 millimeters tall uh, i need to carve a hole that cuts off the bottom 50 millimeters and the top 50 millimeters. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to send it up. Right, The top of it needs to line up with the top of my cylinder. Um, that's going to put me at 90. Nine zero. Now when I group these together, that will give me the perfect curve. Now, how, uh, well, what is the distance between this corner and this corner? Basically, how thick do I need to make this? It needs to be 90. Now I don't need this stuff back here. I really just need this front, but I'm going to leave the back stuff there for now um, until I know how far back it needs to extend. Um, so basically I want to know what is the distance between this edge and then when it no longer, uh, or when it turns into this cylinder back here. So what is that distance? Well, from here to here is 65. And then from here to here is 45. So 65 plus 45 gives me 110. So I actually need to bring my ruler out here and I need to cut off uh, this object at 110 millimeters. So first we're gonna zero it out on the origin. Then I'm gonna put a hole that cuts through the entire object and it needs to be 140. What? What did I say? Oh, it was 110, not 140. 110. Good. Group that together. Beautiful. All right. Now you'll see this start to make sense in a second. Uh, we're going to cut out uh, this rectangle right here. Um, how deep does it go? Oh, we need to figure that out. What is the thickness of, of all these arms? Oh, okay, so thickness of 10, which means from here to here is 10. Now, from this edge to this face right here is 45 minus 10. So I have a hole that needs to extend. Nope, didn't want to do that. It needs to extend into the object 35 millimeters. So from this edge to this face, 35 millimeters, it kind of needs to be 35. And then it just needs to be extending up through the entire object. How wide is it? Uh, they give me that dimension. It is 70. So zero, and then I can just use the align tool uh, to push their front faces together. What? I swear I centered it. Okay. All right, group that together. Beautiful. Next, we need to figure out what this, now, okay, we're good. We're good, relax. Um, we need to cut out this rectangle. What is this rectangle? Well, that's gonna be tricky. Distance between there and there, it doesn't look like, okay, it's 15. All right, so the distance between here to this center is 15, and the distance from the center to here is fi another 15. So basically, it's a, a 30 millimeter uh, wide rectangle. Now, how deep does it go? Well, it, we don't know the distance between here and here, but we do know from this back edge to here, the face of that hole is 35. We can work with that. So we need a 30 millimeter wide hole. We're gonna make this 
tall so it cuts through the entire object. We're just going to make it real, real long for now. And I'm going to throw my ruler out here. We're going to zero this guy out. And we're going to align the centers because this object is centered. And I know the distance between this face right here and the back of my object has to be 35. Beautiful. All right. Let's get rid of that ruler. Now what is next? Let's, let's put that hole through there. Uh, so that hole has a diameter of 12. It is 20 millimeters off the, uh, let's just say the bottom of the arm. How far in is it? Well, it's 25 millimeters from this edge, or what is 45 minus 25? It's 20 millimeters from this edge. So from here to here, it's 20 millimeters in from the closest edges. So let's, let's throw a work. Plan. We don't even need to do that anymore. Tinkercad used to not have the uh, the tool where when you drug a shape out, it would immediately stick to a work plane. So you used to have to take a work plane and place it there. Don't need to do that anymore. All right, this guy needs to be have a diameter of 12. Let's make this guy super long so it cuts through the entire object. That way we don't have to deal with making multiple holes. Good, and it needs to be 20 millimeters away from the nearest edge. Shoo. Let's throw this guy out here. We're going to zero out our base. And we need to measure from not the end point, but the midpoint. Am I measuring midpoint? Come on, come on. There we go. All right. He said 20 from here, and it needs to be 20 millimeters tall. I don't see that, that height dimension, so we're just going to drag it up until I do see it. There we go. It's that 54 number. It needs to be 20. Good. Let's see. Give it the uh, give it the old eyeball. Does it look centered? Yes, it does. And if it looks good and we did the math, then it's probably correct. Beautiful. Now, we need to uh, basically cut out this chunk right here. Now, the arms are 10 millimeters wide all around. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw a work plane right here. And then I'm going to make sure. No, nah, I hate it. All right. I'm going to make sure this guy is 10 millimeters off the work plane. Minus 10. Now I need to put another work plane. I need to put another work plane right here and make sure that it is 10 millimeters off of it. Why is it like that? Okay. So it's measuring from the top of my box. My box is 20, which means the top of the box need to, needs to be at minus 30 to be 10 millimeters off the work plane. Minus 30. Good. Okay. Now, hey, we, we had to do some weird stuff, but now is the fun part. I'm going to drop it, elongate this. Why does that not look correct? Oh, I know why. Because I don't think I did any math. What is this guy? Does it need to be 20? Well, what is the distance between here and here equal? So uh, basically, we're doing. 45 minus 15 is 30 minus 10 is 20. So yeah, it's right. This is supposed to be a 80 by 20 by however tall, it doesn't really matter, box. Is that right? Why does the 80 matter? The 80 doesn't matter. I lied. It just needs to be uh, 20 millimeters wide. The important part is that it is 10 millimeters away from this edge and 10 millimeters away from this edge. And we're just gonna align this. Nope, we're gonna duplicate this guy. Click shift, group it with that. And then we're gonna rotate it, group it. Beautiful. All right, that was tough, uh, <laughs> but we got it done. Okay, now we're moving on to this cylinder part. Uh, this tripped me up. Pretty sure this is a mistake in the drawing. This line right here looks like it's extending to like the middle of our arm. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to stop at this edge. It's basically saying that this, the main big cylinder is 96 inch. No, is 80 millimeters tall. And then uh, this little 
skinny little like, extrusion coming out of it. That is 96 millimeters tall based off the bottom of the cylinder. I believe that's what the, the drawing is showing. So we're going to start with a cylinder that is 50 millimeters in diameter and uh, 80 millimeters tall, 50 by 80. Hold on a second. How far down should this guy be? Well, actually, I don't think we need to know that. What we do need to know, uh, basically, where should I put the cylinder on the arms? Well, the top of the, the big cylinder should be 30 millimeters off of this face. That's what this dimension right here is showing. So first, we're going to align it, make sure it's all nice. And then... Throw a work plane here, put a ruler right here. I want to measure from end point What happens if I move this up? Is that telling me anything useful? Not quite. Okay, so it's measuring from uh, the top of this guy. We can work with that. Oh, yeah, I think, the, all right, the, the top of this guy is how far off of that face where we have the work plane wall is 30. Let's see if that works. No! All right. Uh, what should we do? What should we do? Oh, that's what we'll do. Let's try, let's try minus 30 here. What? Let's try minus 30. Why is that bad? I know why, because it's not supposed to be minus 30. What is the distance between <laughs> the bottom of this guy and this face? Let's figure that out. If from here to here is 80 and from here to here is 30, what is 80 minus? No. What? All right, what is all right, so this guy extends downward 10, so it should be down 50. It should be down 50. Why do we need to push it down 50? Because the distance between right here, from here to here is 40, and the distance between here and the bottom of our cylinder is 10. So we're going to drop it down 50. Minus 50. Beautiful. All right, and now it looks wrong, and that's because it is, but that's fine. We can work with that. What to do next? Well, let's let's push it into the uh, the arms. How do we do that? Well, let's start by getting rid of that work plane and replace it with another one right there. Um, the diameter of this guy is 50, so I need to push it into the work plane minus 25. Right? I need to split it in half. Pi two five. Okay. We get rid of that. Oh, look at that. Almost looks like we know what we're doing. Let's group that, just, just see what happens. Okay. Uh, it's not giving me a real smooth transition. Ow! Oh, I'm off by a millimeter or two. I'm off. Something's wrong. Let's try bumping it out to three millimeters. Yep, that was, that was all it took. Uh, what did I just do? I moved it to the right three millimeters. Is that what I was supposed to do? Well, let's check. Let's check. So from this face to the center of my cylinder should be 35. I probably should have done that to begin with. All right, we're going to ungroup this guy, throw a work plane right here, and then we're going to throw a ruler on this guy, and then we're going to measure from midpoint. Yep. Oh, look at that. Uh, the distance between this surface right here our work plane in the center of our circle should be 35 millimeters all right and if we group this yeah it should go back to normal now i'm actually going to ungroup that and i'm going to lock this guy in that place now we're going to put that little baby cylinder up top the baby cylinder has a diameter of 35 
break those sides up to 64 and then we're going to align it what align center center did that do what it's supposed to do it looks right now I'm positive it's correct how tall should it be well it's the difference between 80 and 96 what is 96 minus 80 we know that's 16 so we're gonna make sure this guy sticks up 16 millimeters and we're gonna ungroup this or sorry unlock it group it because I know it's perfect relock it then we're gonna put a hole through the top the hole has a diameter of 20 this guy right here and it's it doesn't say that it doesn't extend all the way through the object so we're just gonna assume that it does goes through both sides um, did we align it I don't remember let's double check we probably did not all right is there anything else I feel like there's something I'm missing no nope, we're gonna group that no nope, we gotta unlock this group group this guy to this guy oh, look at that that is a beautiful part right there would you look at that oh no seventh screw. all right all right sorry we're we're almost done we have to we have to ungroup the entire object kind of i just need to separate the arms from this guy i need to make that hole come back alive so I'm going to ungroup that, and then I'm going to group all these guys together. Basically, the hole was cutting through the cylinders, and it wasn't cutting through the, the legs or the arms. Now it's going to, because they're, they're all selected. I'm going to group them all, and beautiful. We are done. Only took like 20 minutes.